Hey guys, Shafir here and welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video you're gonna see me draw Elise de la Serre. Uh, I'm very happy to say that this is actually a commission. Uh, if you follow my channel here or my social media, you have seen me draw similar things like this. Spe specifically talking about Assassin's Creed fan arts. Uh, and you can see some others that I have drawn and some time lapse. You can go see them like I have drawn uh, Edward Kenway, uh, Bayakov Siwa, uh, Jacob Fry. I think I have also drawn Lydia Fry, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna leave the links below in the description so you can go and check the, those videos out. And there is more to say here. Um, this is the first time I'm gonna try to narrow down how I approach this artwork. Like I said, this is a commission. So, yeah. The materials that I'm using for this particular artwork, they're Indian ink. I highly recommend trying it. It's a high quality Indian ink and I just love using it. I was introduced to this Indian ink like a couple of years ago after I started my first Inktober prompt list. I'm not gonna talk about that because back then I did two prompt lists in one month and it was kind of crazy but it was also kind of satisfying. And I used a lot of Indian ink back then. And since then, I use a lot of Indian ink for my artworks like that. And the client who actually ordered this artwork love the way I use it in my uh, drawings. And she said specifically that you, she wants to have this kind of feel for her own collection and I was very happy. So yeah, the other of the materials that I'm using in this video are my favorite paper from Fabiano Gentile. If you follow me for the last couple of years, I have said this numerous times, even if not verbally, like this in, in a video, for sure I have posted in the description from some of my artworks. Fabriano Gentile is a high quality paper that I personally prefer. That's my personal preferences. There are sure more high quality uh, papers in the different grams, but this for me, it's, it's suited for what I'm doing, at least for some of the things that I'm doing. Uh, the, the paper is uh, with a beautiful texture it's having not white uh, it, it's not white it's kind of a beige a small kind of a beige so it gives that very interesting look of the course and uh, also the size of the paper the original size of the paper is 100 centimeter by 70 centimeters and I cut it for this particular artwork I think it's like 50 centimeters by um, 35 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. If I mistake by saying this, I will check it out after I finish this voiceover and gonna leave it in the description below. So yeah, the other is, uh, the other materials that I'm using here in this video are my uh, Sakura Micron pens. Uh, specifically, you can see me now, I'm doing it. I'm using a 0.1 nib. It's perfect for very delicate artwork, artwork or if you are into bullet journaling, like I'm, I'm guilty of that. <laughs> uh, it's perfect for details. Um, highly recommend it. I use it for details like her hair, her face, her eyes, and specifically for this artwork, for the quotes and hands, and to add a bit uh, hatching and cross hatching so you can have this deepness into the artwork. Also, later I'm gonna use as well um, 
the brush pen from the set because I just wanted to have a bit more um, structural lines to have this more volume uh, not volume, volume, not volume, volume of the artwork so you can have those cohesiveness and kind of an old look and let's, be, let's face it, to be more pleasing to the eyes also the other material that I'm gonna use a bit later in this video is from Ecoline brush pens red and black uh, they're perfect because I have a specific idea what I want to use them for and it is just for the contrast because the whole uh, artwork is more like black and white and Elise de la Serre is actually with red hair and it will bring that beautiful contrast and I'm so happy that you're gonna see this in a bit also, uh, how I approach uh, the artwork, I do it and I treated it more like uh, watercolor because the ink, the Indian ink is actually drying very fastly. So I'm making a wash, then I add a bit more wash so I can bring this uh, cohesiveness and to, it's more like layer, layer over layer so I can be, build the color because let's face it there are uh, different um, materials of her clothing like her tunics are more darker she's also having a white shirt so you can see the more grayish on her uh, sleeves they're more grayish because they have to be white but I cannot leave them white to have this cohesiveness and to pop them up in the end, I'm gonna use uh, the Ecoline brush pen, but you're gonna see that in a bit. So I think that's it about the, the technique that I'm using. I'm having so much fun drawing this in general. I draw this like, I think, including with the sketch, uh, like an hour, hour and a half because it took me like uh, 35 40 minutes to draw the whole artwork with uh, the color because let's face it this is also a color and to add in the details um one of the things that i actually improvised and give my personal touch is her belt is more it doesn't have that red stri stripe uh, loose like that, but I just wanted to give it, um, you know, to be more cohesive because we have black, black, red, black, red, because her hair is red. And like I said, it's more pleasing to the eye. And um, this, it about, this is it about the art. Um, I had so much fun drawing her. And truth be told, I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed in general, and I have read the book about Assassin's Creed Unity. Definitely recommend to read it. If you haven't read it, you'll learn more about uh, Elise de la Serre and her character, uh, what she's been going through, her very big love for Arnaud Durian, who is the main protagonist of the from the game. But I'm not gonna talk about that too much because if I do, I'm gonna give so much spoilers and I don't want to do that. It's just not cool. Just, yeah. So, this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And, um,. If you want to know more of my current projects or want to see more behind the scenes stuff, consider supporting me on Patreon. I will definitely appreciate it and will continue to draw and make more videos like this. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the links below in the description with also all of my social media and my Etsy shop. So yeah, this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Bye!